Hey, what's up everyone? SJ Vita here today, bringing you guys more content on how-to videos. Today, I'm going to show you guys on how to use the GIB editor for Borderlands 2. If you guys don't know what that is, it's just a GIB editor to, like, change the levels to guns and all that other cool stuff. But I'll get more into that after I say a couple words. But, I am sorry I have not uploaded in a while. It's pretty hard trying to figure out what kind of content to actually post up that you guys will enjoy. But, if you guys want... Just drop a comment in the dis at the end of the video and just tell me what you guys want to see more often and I'll try and make it happen. But um, to, um, like I was going to say, today is about Gib Editor for Borderlands 2, but I'm going to say disclaimer because this can or most likely will get you banned. I'm not really sure. I have not gotten banned for it. So what you guys are going to need to actually run the program and stuff is... I'm going to have these links in the description, but um, you're going to need Horizon. Next is going to be the Gib Editor, and to open up the Gib Editor, you're going to need WinRAR. I'm sorry, I don't have the d uh, download link for WinRAR, so you'll have to find it yourself. But um, it shouldn't be too hard, but um, I'm going to show you guys how to download these. But what, you go, what you're going to do is that you're going to come over here to HorizonMB.com to download Horizon. What you'll do is just click on Download. And wait for it to load up or it's gonna say it has a threat but what you're gonna do is once you go into it I'm sorry that's just my firewall I'm just letting you guys know that this is a safe site this is their professional site you guys seen me download it from here before but what you do is just click download run it and all that other cool stuff then what you're gonna need next is the GIB editor I'm gonna have this link down in the description for it. So once you have, once you're done downloading that, you're gonna need WinRAR, like I said, to open it. And once you have all that, you're gonna go ahead and plug. You're gonna go onto your Xbox, go into your hard drive, and move over a character, save data and stuff over to the flash drive. And once you're done doing that, you're gonna plug it in to your laptop, just like so. Let it run. Then I already have Horizon open, so. It's going to pull up your, eh, hold on, maybe, if I can find a USB port that works, continue, oh, I got to run as administrator, one second. So what you'll do is right click, right click, run as administrator, yes, wait for it to load up, and while this is loading up you guys, I just want to remind you guys to go ahead and drop a like, make sure to subscribe for more content like this, and to hit me up on what kind of content you want to see next. Because I'm really struggling with it. That's why I haven't uploaded lately. But um, we're going to let this load up here. Alrighty. You're going to go over here. It's going to pull up your flash drive here. What you're going to want to do is go over to games. Click on Borderlands 2. And here, you can already tell that I have some of these. These are... Uh, other saves I have on here, but what you're going to want to do is double click on this, click on content, right click on save game dot game save, go down to extract, let it load up, click on desktop, save, it's going to say file extract extracted complete, minimize horizon. Here's a save game. What I prefer you guys to do is go ahead and right click on this, make a copy, and then paste it. So you have a backup file. What you're going to do is just make a Borderlands 2 backup folder, and you're just going to move it right inside there so you have a backup of it. But what you're going to do next is that once you have all that done, you're going to click on the GIB editor. And this is why you said this is why I said you're going to need the er, WinRAR so you can actually run the program. We're going to let this load up. And here it is, the Gib, uh, yeah, Gib Borderlands 2 Save Editor. 
you're going to click on open then you're going to go find this save game that you found that you just extracted and what you're going to want to do is make sure to come down here this is a very important step or it will not open but you're going to want to go in here click on 360 or whatever platform you're running because see if you run on run on the wrong platform like pc for an example i'm going to try and open it then it's going to say failed watch yep see failed to load save so what you're going to want to do is just go back to open and just make sure you go in here and change it to the platform you're using i'm using 360 so open then you're going to see everything pop up here so here we go 360 platform and we're going to go over to character as you can see this is my axe my commando level 72 opa you can go ahead and change the skins or anything so if you have like a hammerlock dlc or anything like that you can go ahead and click on one of them you can change the name for it change the heads anything and then if you want you can come over here to the vehicle see all these different vehicles you can go ahead and change the colors on them whatever you want like I said anything and then once you're done with that you're gonna come over here to currency as you can see most of my stuff is already maxed out what you're gonna do is just put all nines here doesn't matter how many you put it'll just fix it itself then you're gonna put 500 uranium 500 serif crystal, no, 999 serif crystals and 999 of the Torg tokens. Then you're going to have max of, ev max of everything right there. You if you want, you can come over here to fast travel and you can unlock all of the fast travels here. So you can just go all through here and just click on them all. I'm not going to do it because I'm still having fun finding them all. Then what else you can do is over here, you can go into a backpack and you can go ahead and look at all your guns. And if you want, you can go ahead and right here and like say you have a level 35 unkept herald and you want to change it to a level 71 what you'll do is click 71 and then eh, yep hold on 71 then you can go ahead and scroll down and then you have to do it to the second one as well 71 and what you're going to do is just go ahead and do that and you can do that to any of the other guns. I'm gonna keep them to 80 because I am OPA and I want to keep them to 80. And here's your grenades and all this other stuff. And what you can also do is that you can go right here and click on new weapon. And you can go ahead and make any kind of weapon you want. So here they all are. Let's say we want to make a infinity pistol for examples. Um, we're gonna go ahead and click on, I can't remember what infinity is made by but I think they're made by these guys um maybe maybe I was wrong hold on oh I clicked on shotgun my bad so what we're gonna do is go right down here find pistols click on these guys go right here and wrong again I'm sorry you guys I don't know the names of the guns right off the back but I think they're valid off maybe yep see right here infinity then you're gonna go ahead and click on manufacturers you gotta go through all this make sure you set this to the level you want so 80 for me body you can you can click on anyone you want like for grip I think it gives you a couple of them yeah, so you can click on any grip. I'll just go with the original. Barrels. You go ahead and click on infinity. And then for the sights, you can click on any one of these. Like, if one of these guys have your favorite sight or something that you like using, you can go ahead and click on that. But yeah, I'm going to just go with these guys. Go stock. There's nothing here. Elemental. You can click on any kind of element you want. So I'll just go with the fire accessories let's say I want to go with damage make it more make it more powerful no accessory accessory number two go ahead and click on the material so you want to make sure you click on the material it's not going to show up go ahead and scroll down the prefix nothing's here title I don't think there's anything there either and just make sure you change that other number to 80 or whatever one you're doing then you can go ahead ahead and have that and then what you'll see is here it should be here somewhere and I think that's it yep that's it right there but um 
after all that, you can go over here to the bank. You can put whatever kind of guns you want here, just like inside your backpack. And this raw tab, um, I wouldn't really mess with it. I've messed with it somewhat of the way to like max out my skill tree. Um, let me see if I can figure out where that is. What you can also do is like you can mod your um, gameplay, like your playthroughs but that's going to be in a different video because that's far too complicated to keep on trying to add more and more and more here but it might be a f soon enough video for you guys to show you guys how to do it but um one of these tabs it will say something about um your skill skill tree and i maxed mine completely out it's just about but um yeah that's pretty much it after you guys are done with that you're going to click save make sure you go ahead and click on the save game that you want Go ahead and save. Yes, you're going to want to replace it. Alrighty. And then you're going to minimize out of that. Click on here. And what you're going to want to do is right click on the save game. Replace. You're going to go ahead and scroll through all of this until you find your save game. Which should be right about there. Go ahead and open. It's going to say file to replace. And then you're going to want to save, rehash, resign. And do it a second time just in case to make sure it works. And then you're going to go ahead and unplug this from your laptop. And plug it back into your Xbox and it will be perfectly fine. Um, yep, that's Norton for you. <laughs> but um, yeah, I just want to thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment.